Hello, my fellow guardians, this is Malucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Last episode, we went into introduction into Crucible, and we actually played our second game. It was a close call victory in the end, but it started out really, really poorly, but I didn't do all that bad. Today, we are, of course, going to continue with, uh, well, the main quest uh, and even uh, eventually uh, work ourselves to the other introduction quests. So the main quest is uh, the new light campaign and uh, it tells us to meet the drifter. But we also got a new season and because the new season started, apparently we're going to need to talk to Tess Everest. Welcome to the old so you received a package with a note from Tess that reads, I have something for you, Guardian. No need for repayment here. I hope it spurs the imagination. A menomolic engram, a bright engram, an engram containing different ornaments, emotes and accessories from previous Destiny 2 releases. Okay. Says a lot of fantastic things. I tend to believe him. Okay, so let's decipher it. And small gifts of bright dust currency and then mercury. I think it's uh, paint or something like that. So yeah, we got a new season in front of us. Uh, we got a new a new exotic as well, the Wither Horde. Uh, I do believe that the guys who uh, buy it get it on level 1. The guys who don't buy the new season pass can get it on level 35. So I kind of have to work my way up there to get it and it apparently is a really really good grenade, grenade launcher like it does uh it has some fancy tricks and it actually does a lot of damage but yeah uh until we are there we are not able to hello oh what it disappears if you kick it <laughs> so yeah we are not uh able to play with it yet we still have our uh, make our way towards level 35 before we can uh, but yeah, with the new season, the last one, we kind of jumped in while the season almost ended. So it wasn't really possible for me to get it. And where the hell do I need to go? It's just this yeah. direction. So yeah, we're going to continue with our exploration of Destiny 2. And uh, what better way to explore this game than by playing the main quest, right? So uh, new light and we need to talk to somebody who's actually in... The belly of the tower, as far as I can see it. Where the hell is this guy? Okay, over here. Let's the Drifter. Wait, isn't that the dude we saw in the video? That was on the ice planet? Yeah, that's... To say that I'll watch my back is an understatement. Half this system is pissed at me. I'm hoping the centuries a way of eased things. Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure why people are pissed I can't at you. I can tell that that look in your eye is determination or rage. Word is, you and Cade had a pretty good partnership. That's rare. From what I could tell, that guy preferred to work alone. Maybe he liked how you pulped a hive god or two. I know that's why I like you. Listen. Don't let his death weigh on you. Somewhere out there, someone's got a bullet with your name on it. Same for him. Same for me. Nothing we can do. So go out on your terms, with a gun in your hand and loot in your pockets. <laughs> Only way to live. Well, Amalek's he is optimistic. So the drifter encourages you to shake off your grief about Kate. Somewhere someone out there has a bullet with your name on it. So did Kate. So does he. Nothing you can do but go out on your own terms. I guess Welcome we accept. To Gambit, kid. Call me Drifter. Here you're going to compete against another fire team in a hunt for the enemies of humanity. I name them. You kill them. Now they're going to leave some stuff behind. Pick them up and drop them in the bank. As proof that you're doing your job. Better you do your job, the rougher you make it for the other team. But, there's a twist. Y'all are gonna have to bang knuckles face to face with the other team from time to time. And let me tell you, if there's one thing I've learned in all my travels, nothing kills a guardian faster than another guardian. Woo! 
Get ready to be bad guys. <laughs> He's really excited. So I, I think this is another PvP mode. Uh, so well, 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 another champion of the light comes to play in the shadows. The Drifter offers Gambit bounties, quest shaders and other rewards for challenges in the Gambit place lists. Gambit combines cooperative and competitive gameplay. Teams of four compete to clear the battlefield of enemies, hinder your opponents with enemy blockers or guardian invaders. Summon and defeat a pri Primeval to win. So join and compete the Gambit match. Gambit activities are located within the director's Gambit screen. Reward Absolute MN. No idea. Hey, boss Blue said you were coming. Offered me some made-up job. Plugging the pyramids leaks. Keeping the dark bottled up. Said it was compulsory. I don't mind a little charity, but you ask me. Containment's just like holding your breath. Gotta let it out every now and then. Pyramids are making some moves. Moon Dust thinks we can use the darkness we catch to charge that seed. Might cut through all that pesky interference in the cradle. Might let her tell you what Sabathun doesn't want you to know. Good thing, too, because it is wacky out there. <laughs> Look around. Cabal, Fallen, bunch of unsavory types looking to stake their claim. Jokers can't even see we're boxed in. All bets on you to pull through. <laughs> no pressure. Uh, okay. Speak with the Drifter. Drifter smiles when he sees you coming into the room. Then again, it seems like we're smiling already. When things get dark, everybody comes running to old Drifter, he crackles. Eris mentioned your situation and said you could use a little guidance, a steady hand. He shrugs, guess I'll have to do, huh? I don't have to tell you that seed you've got its, it's all kinds of special. Take it down to where those pyramids are busy changing the honest dirt into something they like more. I threw together a souped up bank to help, he winks. Easy money says you'll do great things together. So the seed of silver wings artifacts, one power bonus, a melabon and hungry hungering speak not of what it becomes. Expires at the end of season of arrivals. Uh, okay. So contact lost oasis IO darkness concentration. Contact has been made in the Lost Oasis on IO. Use Drifter Tech to harvest the darkness with your artifact while driving back Sabaton's forces. I think this is another quest he actually gave me. I thought we were gonna take one. Okay. So, yeah. Um, mysterious Package. Uh, reset your Infame rank once. Reset your Infame rank twice. And Seasonal Ruin Wrath. Season... Uh, Recycle sits. Dismantle a stack of these sits to recover glimmer. I have no idea. Complete the introduction gambits quests. Okay, so yeah, okay. Introduction gambit quests. Let's take a look. Main quest new lights. Introduction gambits. Join and complete a gambit match. Gambit activities are located. So yeah, there's nothing that says I need to take a bounty or something because that was the thing we did last wrong last time and then destination i think and yeah gambit all the way at the bottom here so engage in illicit activities against the enemies of humanity and other guardians okay i guess today we're gonna do our first gambit competitive co-op defeat the enemies of humanity collect their moats and bang them to I summon a prime vault so first team to destroy their prime vault wins pvp level advantages enabled I guess launch and let's get in there. We don't know what we are, what we have to do unless we get in and actually experience it ourselves, right? So, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we've got. Hi, bring a sword. Let's be bad guys. 
I always wanted a pet hive. The Ascendant plane must have all kinds of I'm over here. Transmat Prime. Wait, what? Lock and load, hot shot. Get those Guess loads I'll to the bank. Follow the others. Incoming at the gulch. Zero modes collected. Where do I bang them? Somebody's already dead, that's not good. Can you drive him? Where is the bank? Right of I can play around with bow now too. Yeah, let's go for an automatic. Let's learn the bow and some PvE because it's dumb. They got 16 already. 15. Hostile incoming at the depot. Why are people dying so fast? Actually, I don't really get it. Now we have 21. I I, I really have no. Take the depot. I actually have no idea what's going on actually. So yeah, kill enemies, they drop stuff. I'm really not doing a lot of damage to them. Guess we just, just pause it for a small blocker. hurts a lot Try to collect the beat enemies collect modes then dark they drop deposits your allies invading sending small blocker okay That's 64 now 65 I think we're winning. Portal's pride. Go make a pass. Almost time for a prime evil. Fill that bank up. Hostiles incoming at the cavern. Okay, let's uh fill the bank, I guess. I haven't seen any people to be yet. Really? Is this one? Okay. Shoot the feet, shoot the feet. Got it! That's multiple primevals. So we got two more enemies, as far as I can see it. Really 
not doing a lot of damage to it this way, but not dying either. Whoa, I spoke too soon. Let's see if my bow does a little more. Nope, bow doesn't do more. I gotta. Incoming. Vader incoming? What do I mean? Your ally the Dead heals primeval. Ah, oh, so if you die, you actually heal him? That's not good. Dude, jump, jump, jump. Why am I... Dude, dismiss the... Information at the bottom. Holy hell, I couldn't see anything. Oh, we did it. All right, I guess we won. <laughs> Moids deposit eight, hostiles defeated 21, guardians defeated zero. I haven't seen any guardians. Moids lost zero, primeval damage 21%. Opposing team, help me help you. Everyone else is doing great. Activate the invasion portal. The top status bar. Shows both team banked and carried modes at 25 and 50 bank notes. The portal near your bank activates. One player from your team can jump through to invade the other side. Ah. Okay. And how many games do we play? Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm kind of enjoying myself actually. What is weird? Like, I'm, like I said, I'm not really a PvP player, so. Not really doing a lot of damage with my gun here. So only if we deposit them do they actually count? Why it doesn't it give me why oh, need to deposit Ah okay. <laughs> I was depositing in the wrong location. Just one more here. But it vanish after a while. Okay, so you kind of need to be quick as well to pick them up. High value target destroyed. Your allies invading. So that means that my friendlies are now at their portal. Right. Small blocker outback. I don't let me go oh, over here. Your allies back with three kills. Yeah. Whoa, they did good. If they got three kills. Brace yourself. Portal's ready. Grab your gun. Invader down. Your allies a hero. Let's get a little closer. Hey, your team has enough to pull a prime evil. Let's pull a prime evil. Heavy ammo. Kill the envoys. Right in time. Go ham. Yo, 
can't die, can't die, can't die. If I die, I heal him. Shoot his ass, shoot his ass. I'm trying, I'm trying. Go for headshots, they do more damage. Yo. Not sure if my bow is actually not doing... Like, I feel like I'm not doing a lot of damage with it. Okay. Oh, that was a failed nade. Oh, I died! Oh, another teammate. Another team came over here. That's not good. Invaders out! Get him next time. He's spawning. Ready. Grab your gun. Okay, immune. So let's take care of the roof wrap behind him. Healing the primeval. The invaders you kill. While the primeval is active, primeval heals. Oh, okay. That's uh, pretty bad. So if we kill others, then the primeval, the primeval actually gets uh, healed. I think it is. He's immune again. Oh, another player. Damn, D'Lo. Tiny hateful chihuahuas. <laughs> what a name. some loot plus a new quest zip so it's two games okay what a haul I promise you I'll do something special <laughs> he's tossing some coins hey uh the drifter oh, hey shit. kid looking good yeah, I know I know visit the drifter now that you got a little taste of the action how about we up the ante I've got bounties worth your time, kids. Gambit bounties offer focused objectives for guardians to complete while playing Gambit activities. Select Gambit bounties from the Drifter, complete their objectives, then claim the completed bounty to gain XP and rewards. Except, and we got a new quest step as well. So, what are... Breakfast, complete introductions, Gambit quests. Didn't I just do that? quests select gambit bounties from the drifter in the tower then return to gambit to complete the bounties oh okay okay so we still need to do one bounty to actually complete this okay so uh, let's check it out uh, complete gambit triumph notorious hustle auto rifle kills auto rifle multi kills holy hell that's a long list uh final blows a thousand that's all those are long lists holy hell i'm not gonna be able to do these on uh in fame ranks see right i said modes banked zero percent defeat targets in gambit earn in fame and deposit modes as a team in season of arrivals fire team members contribute towards progress wielding auras from reapers and collector sets grants additional progress so I need to have uh Ah okay, no, I need to take yeah, okay. So I need to take a bounty. Don't need to take a quest because I can't take a quest yet. Holy hell. So modes deposited, Don't I can do that. Down, and one right? blockers defeated energy weapon kills. I think I use an energy weapon as well. So yeah, let's take two. And let's I head right ride, back brother. into Gambit. I guess. 
So destinations, Earth, Gambit, and this time we don't do Gambit Prime. Time to build we some do Gambit These Competitive. PvP level advantages enabled. Okay, I'm gonna do another Gambit, get the bounties done, and I'll bring you guys right back. So, yeah, uh, our sick my second game ever, uh, I do have to say. It was a humiliating, well, maybe not humiliating, but it was a big ass defeat. Uh, we lost both rounds, uh, simply because there were only three players of us and four in the opposing team. I guess you can't really blame it on that, but I, it also had something to do with it, I, I do presume. You ready to bang knuckles? But we were able to, and I do need to go towards uh, the quests first. We were able to do one objective, and that's what we needed to do, right? So welcome back, killer. Having fun? That's rhetorical. I know you are. Return to the Driftle to acquire bounties, gear, and other rewards related to the Gambit activities. Uh, obviously, cleft refit better than the sum of its parts. Oh, a legendary ship. We actually got a new ship. Gambit in its prime. The Drifter has unveiled a new training exercise for the Guardians of the Tower. A role-based single round evolution of Gambit that he calls Gambit's Prime. He's eager for you to give it a try. Okay, who are you? Quest step. Let's take a look at the quest step, shall we? So quests, uh, the main quest, new lights. We still got... Uh, Escalation protocol in here. Uh, quests, shadow keep, seasonal, playlists, exotics, the past. Oh, Gambit in its prime. Acquire a Gambit's prime bounty from the Drifter. Guardians Gambit's prime bounty. Welcome aboard. How you living? And additional bounties. Gambit Prime Bounties, okay. So, modes denied, 15. Targets neutralized, 2. Neutralized high value targets in Gambit Prime, so pro probably other players. Uh, bank modes in, of Dark in Gambit Prime, 75. That's something we can do today. And then Primeval defeated. So, yeah, let's pick uh, this that. one. And let's pick this one. Quest step is actually already completed by there, picking brother. them up, I think, if I looked correctly. Complete a Gambit Prime bounty. Okay, let's go bones. into a Gambit Prime. Let's see, Dark 75 modes and one one uh, end boss, I guess, uh, defeated. Well, we should be able to do that. Hey, dude, I'm back. Well, what'd you think? Pretty good, right? Gambit's my pride and joy, but Prime's a whole new song and dance. If I did this right, and I think I did this right, you freaks will line up for this till the sun goes out. What's this all for? <laughs> Why don't you head on up to the derelict for a behind the scenes tour? Well, I do have to say, <laughs> Gambit Prime. Whoa, holy hell. Uh, so Gambit in its prime. The Drifter is pleased with your performance in Gambit Prime, but that's not the only cons he's cooked up. With some sleight of hand and unnecessary flourish, he presents you with a curious device that he calls a synthesizer. Your new synthesizer can be used to combine sits synths found in Gambit Prime into modes which can be used in another one of the Drifter schemes. A mysterious trial he mentions briefly as the reckoning. So weak synthesizer, a container, a mode synthesizer jimmeled off a defunct gambit bank, redesigned for recombination rather than energy conversation. Insert synths found in Gambit Prime to create modes. Well, let's acquire it. Okay. I need and you I alive, brother. Think. Well, be careful. What do you What do you have for me? You still have something for me? Gambit Prime in its prime. Gambit in its prime. Quests, synthetics, introduction into raids, and then main quest, the new light. So we're actually not done with Gambit yet. 
And we still have the technical knockout. And then if we go all the way to the right side, we still got the Trials Returns. Quest the Trials of Osiris. But yeah, uh, this is where I'm going to wrap up my episode. Let's quickly go stand in the little light. Uh, so yeah, uh, Gambit Prime. Gambit in itself, really fun mode. Uh, it doesn't really take long, the fights. And it only requires, I think, 60 modes to summon the Primeval. And the Primeval doesn't really have that much... Well, it does have a lot of health, but it doesn't spawn minions as fast as the Prime does. Prime, also Gambit Normal, you have three fights. Well, you have basically have two fights. If you win both, you win the game. But if you win one and lose one, you get a third fight to compete who wins the actual game. But in Gambit Prime, you only get one game. You're going to need to uh, gather 100 modes to actually summon him. He summons minions constantly. Meaning that every time he summons minions, he cannot actually hurt the Primeval. Because he's shielded up. So you're going to need to defeat his minions. And the amount of health that he regenerates every time somebody comes in and kills you. Or you die by the Primeval itself. Is like insane. I, in the 6 or 7 uh, games I've played so far... None of them killed the Primeval. Every game was decided by who did the most damage to the Primeval. But none of them actually killed it. Like, yeah, Gambit Prime is 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 tough. It's a, it's a tough competition. It's it's really... It, it amazed me. Like, I had a lot of fun in there. And, well, another perspective on it is, like, 983. Like, that's, that's insane. I've played seven, eight games of Prime, and then maybe four games of the normal mode. And I went up with 20, 20, maybe, yeah, let's say 20, at least 20 power from playing that. And it's been two hours, plus minus. So, yeah, definitely Gambit Prime is a really, really good farm to get to a thousand lights. Like, I also noticed I got my submachine gun. My previous submachine gun was doing, like, 50, 60 damage. If I was using this one on the correct, like, for headshots, I was getting 1,200 hits. Like, there is a definite difference in, in, in power level. Like, you see your damage go up really, really hard. So, I'm kind of excited. Like, um, I always wondered why, like, how you were gonna be able to level up faster, get get your gear to light level a thousand or even higher than a thousand. So uh, you were able to when well, I was gonna be able to participate in raids because I feel like a raid is like thousand fifty, thousand fifty higher, and I kind of don't didn't want to go in with a lower light level. But now that I know in prime that I can just go into prime gambit and and just farm it out till I get my 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 gear out where i want it to be like hell yeah it's really really nice uh nice nice touch okay so let's sit our ass down like we always do so today we basically did our introductions into prime uh into gambit and into prime gambit excuse me i'm i'm, I'm burping I, I i was yelling so much during the games that i just drank and, and yeah i'm burping and then, uh, yeah, we're basically not done with Gambit yet, so we get Gambit in its prime quest. And I think I'm gonna use your new synthesizer to create a mode from synths found in Gambit Prime. So I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do this one next episode, and then we're gonna move on to the main quest, a new light, because that's the campaign quest. And I kind of want to do the campaign quest before I do everything else now. We explore the planets, and then I think the main quest is the quest that's gonna explain the most to me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.